Hey guys, so this morning I want to do some maintenance on our John Deere 4240 we have on the mixer. It's needing an oil change. I think it's been a little too long. This thing puts hours on pretty quick being on the mixer. Let's take it over to the shop and we'll start draining the oil. Might clean out the cab a little bit too. It's quite a mess. Gonna let it run a little bit and then we can drain the oil. I think it's warm enough. 17,060 hours on it. Last oil change. See it faded off. I did have it written on here. While the oil is draining, we can change the filter. A couple of videos ago, I showed you some stuff I got in my post office box. Someone sent this nice uh, filter strap wrench. So we're gonna have to try this out, see if it works. Look at that. Looks like I gotta clean up our filters again. Is that there? Dad went and picked these filters up the other day, so I should have another one for another time. There we go. So these filters come with the gasket that goes on there first, and then we put the filter on. So I want to put the gasket on, but I'm going to put some oil on here first so it seals up properly. If I don't say that and show it, I will get 50 more comments telling me that I need to do that. So I'll definitely have to show it for you guys. The only thing is getting more comments is actually a good thing because YouTube might promote my content more. So I'll have to think about if I want to show this in my video, but I am going to put some oil in this gasket. Last time I wrote the hours on with a marker and it just faded off, so I'm gonna use a nail and just scratch it in the paint. There we go. Still dripping, I'm gonna let that drain a little bit more while we clean out the cab a little. This tractor is equipped with a back window that is always clean. Haven't cleaned it once in years. So in my lifetime, I'm pretty sure we've broken two back windows out of this tractor. I remember one time when I was a kid, we had a hay bind that had a reel in the front and somehow threw a rock up. And I just remember sitting right here with my dad and just seeing a rock come flying up and break the window out. Glass showered over us. We were fine, but it was a little scary. It is actually nice not having to clean it, but your cab gets really dirty. We're always in and out of this tractor. It's not like we're spending tons of time in here. It's not ideal, I guess, but. So it was just dripping there. That's good enough.
guess the engine oil drum is empty now. About to switch the pump over to this one. Okay, we're good to go. Someone sent this grease gun as well. Haven't used it yet. Let's get it loaded up. I wanna grease the front axle of the tractor and the universals on the PTO shaft. What we really should do is take the pressure washer and clean everything up on this tractor. I guess we'll go get the pressure washer hooked up and do that real quick. We got a rainstorm that came through and it was blowing rain in from the east. So we had these doors closed at this end. I should open these back up because it's nice out now. Got it cleaned up half decent. Okay, so while I have the pressure washer out, I might as well clean the skid loader off. She's due for a bath. I'm a little bit annoyed because I kind of messed this label up a little bit, but look at the other side. 
uh, doesn't really matter, but I was gonna be careful. I was trying to spray down here to clean this area out, and then I didn't realize just caught that a little bit, just shredded that, but whatever. Thanks a lot for watching this video. One last thing I wanted to show you is I'm selling t-shirts and hoodies right now. So they look similar to this. I made the logo a little bit smaller this time, but uh, they're really nice shirts, really comfortable. So you have to order them by October 27th. That's this coming Tuesday, and then they'll ship them out next month. So head down to the description of this video. I have the link there, and you can order your shirt. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys.